okay? Right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off fishing close in, um, which is just gonna be underneath the top two of my pole. So I'm not stretching out, you know, if it was a windy day, if I was stretching out and the float would be coming back towards us, we're just fishing nice and close where we can control the rig. And it's also out of the way of the boats that tend to go down the middle. But as we were saying before, we need to plumb the depth. So all I'm doing is just putting a plummet on the, on the, um, on the hook. And I've just got one of those. I just push it through the eye on the top and hook the bottom end of the cork. Just press it in there. And that hangs on the line like that. So, so if you're not sure, just start off very close. Well, obviously we're not going to fish right by the net, but we just start off. See there, the float's going down and I'm hitting the bottom before the float is touching the, the water. So the further I go out, the deeper it should get like that. But today we're just going to fish a little bit, for, little bit further out there. See, I've just lowered it down there and I can feel the bottom there. If I go out further, it'll probably go under the water. So if we were going to fish there with a bit longer pole, we'd need, all we'd need to do is to move the float up like that a touch. And then just drop it down. And then again, I can feel the bottom there. So if we were going to fish that far out, we'd be on that depth. And again, if it was shallower, say, just, just for example, if, we were, if the canal we were fishing isn't very deep, so we just need to move it. So there, if we were going to fish in that depth of water, so it's just about moving the float up and down like that. And take your time, there's no rush, just move it down. But we're going to fish today cl closer in, so we're going to fish just so it's nice, nice and easy where I can fish. I'm not making it hard for myself trying to fish the middle of the canal, I'm just going to fish close in. And all we're going to do at the start, we're just going to put two balls, little balls of ground bait in like that. So we don't, not a lot, we don't need to put loads in. It's amazing how little you can feed and catch a few fish. So we're just gonna just put those two balls of ground bait in. And I've just flicked a few squats. This, you know, if you're on that junior match in September, this is, you'll catch a lot of fish doing it like this. And we're just gonna start with a single pinky on the hook. And because this canal flows that way, all I do is swing it and lay it in like that. So we've got our ground bait in that area and we just try and keep the line that side of the float because the flow goes that way. If it starts dragging in towards us, it looks a bit unnatural. So we're just, all, of, all we put in is two little balls of ground bait in. So I've got my float, it's quite shotted. Normally I'd have it a bit lower down than that, but because we're filming today, we just want to show it on film that we can sit, but it's quite low down to the water. And we'll just see if we can catch some of those little fish. But see how easy it is to con control our rig like that. It's right on the end of the... Um, if I was trying to do it out there, if I was fishing stretched out like that, it'd be really awkward, it'd be uncomfortable as well. So I'm just fishing close in like that. And there's lots of fish close in. Obviously, you know, that's why we've stressed the point of keeping our keep nets attached to the bank and having, not having anybody stood right here, because it really does make a difference. So we know that a little sweet spot there is where the ground bait is. It's just there. So that's where we're expecting an odd bite. But don't panic straight away. We're just chucking in like three or four little squats. You know, we don't need to put loads more ground bait in because we're just, you know, we're only targeting these small fish. So just, and a lot of times, if you know, if you just leave it there, you won't get a bite. But a lot of times, if you pick it back up again and put it back in, you'll get a bite straight away. It's almost as if they watch it come down and everything. But see, and there we go, a little fish. Nice, nice little rope. Whoop, it's fell off. <laughs> but see, we've had a bite, you know, we've only, only been fishing a few minutes and we've just put a tiny amount of bait in. Three squats again, that's all. All on that little bit, that little close in mark there. And it's amazing, they're always on that little target area where the ground bait was. Float settled down a bit better now. You know, if we were to chuck loads of ground bait in at the start, you know, we're trying to create create a bit of divan, demand for our hook bait. If there's loads of bait there, a bit of weed on the line then, if there's loads of bait there, it, you know, it's not going to single out our hook bait as, um, as easy. So we should be just chucking two or three in. 
two or three squats, that's all we need to put in. And it's flowing that way, so I'm always trying to keep the line, it's a bit like river fishing, you're keeping the line behind the float, which is a lot easier to do if you're only fishing close in like this. If you're trying to do that out there in the middle of the canal, it'd be really hard work. But sometimes it can, you know, we've done a lot of disturbance today filming and everything, so it can take, can take a bit of time just to get, you know, to get going. So again, we've not had a bite, so don't be afraid just to pop it back in again. And that way, laying it in like that, it won't tangle either. So if we just, if we have the maggot to the left and the float to the right, it won't tangle. So I'm just fishing, I've not done anything else in the middle of the canal or anything, I'm just fishing close in. And like a lot of canals, especially the Shropshire Union, you can catch for like two hours like this. You know, like on the junior match a couple of years ago, um, there was one, one lad, he, he just caught all day close in like this. Didn't need to fish far out at all. So another good way, you know, we've mi we've mixing your ground bait before you come, you've not got the disturbance of doing that. So. That's with a red pinky. Don't be you know, afraid to change your bait as well. Put an orange one on instead. Sometimes you put one of those on, you catch straight away. But the worst thing you can do is keep is just leave it there and not not cast in again. You got it's got to be coming in and out all the time. I think they think if it's been there for a while, they won't touch it. But sometimes if you just drop it in, you'll catch straight away. So we just again, we're just throwing two or three squats in. We've got a bite there. Look. There we go. Good gin. And wh where we're going on the junior match, there's loads of these gudgeon. Nice little fish. So it was again, we, you know, we didn't ca we didn't get a bite on a, a red pinky, so I'm just trying to fill an orange one again. That's it. Again, two or three. You know, my thinking: if there's 20 gudgeon there, and we throw three squats in. You know, that makes them sort of compete for the food. Worst thing you can do is start chucking in like big handfuls of bait and that stuff like that because it really does fill them up quick. You know, sometimes you can, you can just put those two balls of ground bait in at the start and you don't have to put any in again. Just creates like a little dinner table for them. So again, just don't be afraid to, to pick it out again. Two or three squats. But I'm in control of the float and everything, and even if it started to really be windy now, I could just keep me, me line behind the float. The worst thing you can get is if it drags in like that and it ends up, it's really unnatural and the fish can spot it that there's something wrong. But by doing this, so it's all under the float uh, pole tip, it's um, so easy to control. And these little canal fish have seen it all, you know, so you, you're giving yourself the best chance. You've plumbed the depth right, you've got the right ground bait. Oh, another little bite then. Oh, oh, bit better. Might be a perch, I think. So it's got a nice soft elastic there. So, you know, if we had a real heavy elastic, it'd be um, splashing everywhere. But little fish like these perch, so it's always worth getting the landing net under them. There we go. Look, nice little perch. Nice little bonus fish. And see uh, that soft elastic as well. It let me guide it out the peg. You know, so there was no splashing around on top. Nice little perch. You know, so it wasn't, you know, creating a lot of noise and disturbance. You know, that really important, like this fine elastic, it's like a number three, that is. And you can't physically lift out the bigger fish with it. But if you had a heavy elastic on, you could. And it always involves, I've done, you know, when I was a kid, I did it myself. Tried to lift out the big fish. The big fish comes off, it all ends up in a big tangle. You know, and it's, it's no good. So nice fine elastic, everything's all refined. Little looks, fine elastic small floats so all you'd be amazed how many you can catch on just so little you know we've got all this all equipment here and that but we don't need it we can just another fish look nice good in again you know and if, really if you can just tick over like this 
you know, and you don't got to do anything. Like, a lot of the times, you haven't got to fish in the middle or anything like that. You can just catch like this. You know, we've had lots of Let's Fish events where, like on, on the Let's Fish events, generally what we do is we all fish close in like this. Nobody gets any poles out or anything because, you know, for one, people can't manage them, new fishermen. They can't manage the equipment. So we do all fish close in and it's amazing how much we catch. Whereas if it had been a match, we'd all been fishing on the other side and in the middle and everything. But because we all just fish close in like this, we can really keep going all, most of the day sometimes. Like, So it's a really good idea just to fish close in like this. And it's so easy, I can just control my rig. It's going through straight like that. See, no bite this time. Pop it in again. Again, just two or three squats, like that. And it's all on that little dinner table there. All the bites tend to come there. When, when they get settled down, they all come in that little area. But if I was trying to do that out there, stretched out, it would be difficult, be hard work. 